Well, speaking of helping kids stay engaged this summer, there is a new study out about how much screen time kids are getting, and it's bad news for parents who struggle with putting down their own phones. Research published this month in the Journal of Pediatric Research took a look at the connection between parenting approaches and screen use among early adolescents, that's 12 and 13-year-olds, and found that one of the biggest indicators for how much time a kid spent on their devices was their parents' screen time. Yeah, according to the survey, parent screen use, family mealtime screen use, you know, being on a cell phone at the dinner table, and then also bedroom screen use were associated with greater adolescent screen time. Joining us now for more is NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Kavita Patel. Dr. Patel, good morning. All right, this might not be surprising, but a lot of parents already feel guilty that they're modeling unhealthy behavior to their kids by how much they use their phones. Walk us through some of the study's findings. How does a parent's screen time impact their child's screen use? Yeah, Joan and Savannah, this was a study that looked at 10,000 households that had adolescents aged 12 to 13 in that household. And it really just went through a series of questions with the parents to determine exactly what you touched on. You know, when are you looking at the screen? 73% of the people surveyed actually said that they're regularly using their phones around those adolescents. And then when they asked those detailed questions, are you using it at mealtime? Do you find that you're using it when you are not having a, you know other things to do and you're just picking it up mindlessly, there were most of the parents that said, yes, we are mostly picking up our phones, doing it around our adolescents, and doing it during those times that we often say, hey, put your phone down, like at mealtime, even at bedtime, while you're trying to wind down and go to bed. So what's the best way to go about, you know, even having this conversation so it doesn't just feel like your kid's like in trouble or they're going to be mad at you or feel like they're getting left out about what they're missing on their phones? How do you talk about this? Right. Yeah, Savannah, I think the biggest myth is that like you can't talk to teenagers or to adolescents. And the truth is mm. you can. You just have to do it honestly. I think you and I all know that they can detect when you're not telling the truth or when you're not being completely present and mindful. So the key is really to actually bring them into the conversation. And it's by first being honest and saying, you know what, here's why I kind of sometimes pick up my phone and look at it. And when I'm looking at it, I am looking at, you know, fill in the blank, Instagram, TikTok, et cetera, because then you get onto an, a level kind of understanding. They know you're looking at your phone. You know you're looking at your phone and they want to understand why you do it. And you want to understand why they do it and set some rules around that. And then you can really start to get into patterns. But I think it also starts with asking yourself, I'm trying to do this myself kind of ask yourself who, what, when, where, and why. So this is just me before I grab my phone. Who are the people I, I am around that I should be paying attention to? What am I actually planning to use my phone for? And be honest, if it's to just scroll on social media, just tell yourself, I just want to scroll on social media. Then when, is it really urgent? Where mm -hmm. are you doing it? And where are you? Are you happy with where you're at right now? And then why are you doing it? So who, what, when, where, why? Hmm. It has helped me in the last couple of days just put my phone down and then also create some cell-free zones. I put the charger for our family kind of away, away from the breakfast or dinner table so that I have to put the phone there, They all put their devices there, and then we can have a conversation. <laughs> great, great tips. Easier said than done, but everybody should give it a shot. <laughs> Dr. Kavita Patel, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.